गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल लेट एस सॉल्व अमेरिकल क्वेश्चन ऑन चेन कोड सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन एंड इनपुट डिजिटल इमेज इट इज गिवेन टू अस एंड फॉर दिस गिवेन ऑब्जेक्ट वी हैव टू राइट द ए डायरेक्शनल चेन कोड द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट दैट वी हैव टू कंसिडर इट इज वन कॉमा फोर एंड वी हैव टू ट्रांसफर्स द बाउंड्री दैट इज अलॉन्ग द क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन सो लेट एस सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन सो अवर स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट इट इज वन कॉमा फोर so 1 comma 4 is representing this pixel it represent this is my positive x direction and this is my positive y direction so so in order to write the chain code of this object the boundary of this object we have to represent in the form of uh, the boundary of this object we have to represent in point format so this was our positive x direction and this was our positive y direction so in order to represent the boundary of this object in point format let me draw a graph this is our positive x direction and this is our positive y direction and this is our origin and let me mark the indexing along x it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Along y, let me mark the indexing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now for simplicity. Now for now for simplicity, let me mark the major axis. since chain code it is the representation of a boundary of an object so from this given object we have to select the boundary pixels and our starting point it is 1 comma 4 so this pixel having the coordinate 1 comma 4 so let me mark 1 comma 4 in this uh, plane so this is our 1 comma 4 along x it is 1 along y it is 4 next boundary pixel is this pixel having the coordinate 2 comma 5 so 2 comma 5 is this pixel Our next boundary pixel is this, having the coordinate three comma six. Three comma six is this pixel. Our next boundary pixel it is four comma six. Four comma six is this one. Next boundary pixel is five comma six. So this is our five comma six. Our next boundary pixel would be this, having the coordinate six comma seven. Six comma seven. This pixel. Our next boundary pixel is this one having the coordinate seven comma seven. So this is seven comma seven. Next boundary pixel is this pixel having the coordinate seven comma six. So this is the coordinate. This is the coordinate seven comma six. Next, this pixel having the coordinate seven comma five. So seven comma five is this pixel. Next boundary pixel is this pixel having the coordinate six comma five. So this is the point six comma five. Next, this is our boundary pixel having the coordinate five comma four. So five comma four is this pixel. Next, our next boundary pixel is this pixel having the coordinate five comma three. So five comma three is this pixel. Next boundary pixel, it is this pixel having the coordinate six comma two. Six comma two. Next boundary pixel having the coordinate seven comma two. So this is the point seven comma two. Next boundary pixel having the coordinate six comma one. We have already marked. Next boundary pixel it is five comma one. Let me mark five comma one. Next boundary pixel it is four comma one. So let me mark four comma one. 
our next boundary pixel it is 3 comma 1 so let me mark 3 comma 1 next this is our next boundary pixel having the coordinate 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 is this pixel next this pixel having the coordinate 3 comma 3 so let me mark 3 comma 3 our next boundary pixel it is this pixel having the coordinate 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 and finally we reach to our starting point so this is the boundary pixels now let me connect these boundary pixels in clockwise direction as mentioned in the question Now if you remember the 8 directional chain code In 8 directional chain code the directional code are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Now this is our starting point This arrow having the directional code 7, so I will write here 7. Similarly, this arrow having the directional code 7, so I will write here 7. Now this down arrow, now this down arrow, it having the directional code 6. Now this down arrow, it having the directional code 6, so I will write here 6. Similarly, for this down arrow, I will write here 6. This arrow, I have already discussed, it having the directional code 7 in 8 directional chain code. Again this down arrow it having the directional code 6 so I will write here 6. This reverse arrow it having the directional code 4 so I will write here 4. Here also I will write 4. This up arrow it having the directional code 2 so I will write here 2. This arrow in a directional chain code it having the directional code 3 so I, have I, I will write here 3. This reverse arrow having the directional code 4 so I will write here 4. Now this arrow having the directional code 5 so I will write, uh, I will write here 5. Now this down arrow, this down arrow having the directional code 6, so I will write here 6. Again this arrow having the directional code 3, so I will write here 3. Now this up arrow, it having the directional code 2, so I will write here 2, 2 and 2. This forward arrow, it having the directional code 0, so I will write here 0. Here also I will write 0. Now this arrow, it having the directional code 1, so I will write here 1. And finally this up arrow, it having the directional code 2, so I will write here 2. Now it's time to write the chain code. The chain code. This is our starting point. So the chain code it becomes 7766764423456322201212. So let me write here the chain code 7766766. 4, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 3, 3, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, 2. And with this, this question is over. Thank you.